come on in, pull up a chair and take a load off because today I will do a quick pace through and review Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty from Adult Swim and Wizards of the Coast. So is this a must have for fans of Rick and Morty who have yet to get into D&D or should you get Swifty somewhere else? You'll find out right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. As I mentioned in the open, I will be reviewing Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty from Adult Swim and Wizards of the Coast. Is this going to be as wacky as it sounds? You're going to find out. This is hitting stores on November 19th. This is essentially a starter set for Dungeons and Dragons with a Rick and Morty theme. It does carry an MSRP of $29.99. Let's swing on over to the other camera and let's take a look. All right, I've got everything that comes in the Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty box already out here. I did an unboxing and page through video just last week. So if you want to uh, really delve into these and get a look at just about almost every single page, by all means, feel free to check out that video. So I'm going to quickly go through what comes in the box. We're going to take a peek. So first off, got to say, I really like the dice. I think this is a really good dice set. Personally, I like this, uh, this dice set better than the Descent into Avernus dice because uh, the numbers seem to pop a lot better in the inking seems to be much nicer on these dice than the Avernus dice. So these come with the set. So get those out of the way. We've got the rule book. And I will quickly kind of flip through here. So essentially the rule book is really the same as we've seen in the starter set as well as the essentials book. But there's a lot of Rick and Morty artwork. There was a uh, series from IDW. In fact, I believe they did two series, two four-issue series of Rick and Morty and D&D. &D. So, and it, very, very popular as well. So we get uh, the basic rules, basic breakdown of everything. And uh, we get some kind of wise-ass comments from Rick Sanchez along the way. It's D&D &D Rick! Well, they were really scrimped on this part, huh, Morty? So uh, we get, it's, it's kind of interesting because we get just, you know, pretty much the, the dry rule presentation. And then we sort of get uh, an everyman wise acre, a response from Rick as far as each of the rules. Funny enough, these little boxes do actually help newcomers understand the rules i mean they kind of get down to the base uh the basics as far as uh, how to understand everything so like the artwork throughout if you're a big rick and morty fan you're gonna dig this so zipping on through here but the reality is this rule book is kind of the same you know basic rule book that we've seen in the starter set and the essentials Kit, which are great. I love those. Both those box sets are fantastic. So if you are uh, kind of on the fence and you're you're sort of like, well, you know, I, I I love Rick and Morty. I've never played D and D. This is a cool way to jump on board at a uh, fairly low buy-in cost. So just zipping on through here real quickly. This is probably not the big selling point of this box set because if you've already got D&D, &D, if you've already got either or both, actually, of the, uh, the starter sets, the standard starter set and the essentials kit, then you already have a rule book that uh, gives you the, uh, the inside dope on D&D. &D. What people are really going to be lining up for is not only 
the branding of this for Rick and Morty, but the Lost Dungeon of Rickedness, Big Rick Energy. And this is a starter adventure. It is... It's it's gonzo. It's pretty wild. It's not... You're, you're supposed to kind of get the impression that it's going to be, you know, a total party kill because it's Rick as the dungeon master and it's going to be Tomb of Horrors Volume 3. It's not. But there are some pretty funny nods to Rick and Morty in here. The Pickle Room! Because it's Pickle Rick! We get the uh, Mises in here as well. So uh, I found it pretty funny, but I, I got to be honest, it's, it's kind of a traditional D&D adventure for low-level characters. Uh, it's got uh, a bit of a sense of humor to it, but the reality is it is a D&D adventure with, uh, with little tweaks and little nods to Rick and Morty as well. So just kind of paging on through here. It is uh, a little shorter than we're used to seeing for some of these starting adventures. We normally see those clock in about 64 pages. This comes in at like 44. You get a, a good selection of monsters. Some, some classics here. The Sturge. So that is the adventure itself. I thought the adventure is fine. Uh, I thought it would, it, it would be fun to run. Obviously, I did not run this adventure. But I can see it would be uh, a good time for newbies. Uh, those who take their D&D very seriously, maybe not. We also have a little Dungeon Masters screen as well with Rick and Morty D&D artwork. It's Meat Face! So we've got that. We, we saw this uh, same sort of setup with the Essentials Kit. Of course, we've got some Rick and Morty artwork with this as well. I thought this is really nice. I like this in the Essentials Kit. I like this in the Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty. A cool little Dungeon Master screen. You can pop on out, go to town. Sure, it's not, you know, top-notch, hold up to years and years of play, but still, it's a cool little Dungeon Master screen. And we also have some pre-generated characters. So, of course, we've got Morty, we've got Jerry, we've got Summer, we've got, gosh, now I'm zoning out on, uh, on Morty and Summer's mom's name. Duh. Uh, and then we got Meat Face, who is uh, who's kind of a new character here, good old Meat Face. So we have these pre-gens. I do want to point out uh, there are no rules as far as, you know, rolling up new characters. But that is not unusual with starter sets. So we've got basically the pre-gen characters. We got the DM screen. We got the adventure. We've got the rule book. And we've got the cool dice. Really nice dice. Uh, all in all, I think this is a nice product, especially if you're a real big fan of Rick and Morty, but uh, have never gotten into Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I will have a few other thoughts in my final review score when we shift on over to the other camera. So what do I think of Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty? Well, in essence, what this is, is another starter set for Dungeons and Dragons, just like the original starter set for D&D and the more recent Essentials Kit. Both of those, I think, are fantastic buys for people who have never played D&D. And the adventures that they contain within are almost worth the price of admission alone as far as picking those up. This, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I'm a big Rick and Morty fan, but this really is aimed at Rick and Morty fans who have an interest in getting into Dungeons and Dragons. It's not necessarily aimed at people who are already playing Dungeons and Dragons who like Rick and Morty. I'm not dissuading people from picking this up. I'm just saying we've seen a lot of this before outside of the adventure. 
So we've got another little GM screen, which is cool, but that came in the Essentials Kit. We've got pre-gens, which are essentially just fantasy characters with some Rick and Morty artwork, which is fine, which that's fine. And then we've got, of course, the adventure, which is really what people are going to be picking this up for if you're already into Dungeons and Dragons. And it's a fine adventure. It is not a standout adventure. I don't think it's as good as the two previous beginner adventures that we've seen in the starter set, as well as the essentials kit. But it is fun. And there are nods to episodes of Rick and Morty within the adventure as well. It's not like a TPK, like you kind of get the impression from the box that it's, well, Rick's the, the dungeon master, so all the characters are going to die in just horrific ways. No, it's pretty traditional as far as a D&D adventure. A little more gonzo, and of course, you've got all those Rick and Morty nods. All this being said, I think this is good. I just don't find it as an essential purchase. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I do give Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty a solid 8 out of 10. So decide for yourself if you are a big fan of Rick and Morty and you'd like to learn D&D, this is a perfect pickup. Probably want to notch this up about another point. If you're a D&D fan who really doesn't care for Rick and Morty, probably not a recommended purchase for you. But nonetheless, I do like it, and I definitely think it is worthwhile to pick up for many people out there. All right, so that's it for this time out. If you like the video, please give it a quick thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do ring that little bell, because not only will it notify you when I upload standalone videos such as this one, It'll also notify you when my live show airs, which is Monday through Friday nights right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central. It is the Daily Dope, and I bring you all the latest tabletop gaming news. And of course, when you are not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. And now you know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. Once again, I am Jeff McAleer, and until next time, happy trails. I didn't realize that you were still here. Well, if that's the case, then allow me to share the following information with you that I only have 20 seconds to do. So let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> so if you would like to subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel, please click right here. If you want to check out the latest episode of The Daily Dope, click right here. And if you'd like to check out a randomly selected standalone video, by all means, click right here. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer, and thanks for watching. <laughs>